Welcome to the YMCA of San Francisco's Classroom for All. My name is Justin and today we will be learning how to multiply and divide fractions. Um, so feel free to follow along or you can just watch and try the activity on your own later. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it. Um, okay, so we're going to begin by learning how to multiply. Uh, I'm going to do a very simple problem. We're going to start with one fourth times one third. Okay, so I'm going to show you two ways to do this. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it with the diagram, and then I'm going to show you how to do it um, with arithmetic. Uh, so let's start with the diagram. Um, what I'm going to do is first draw a box that's going to represent one hole. So this box represents one hole, and what I'm going to do first is take an orange marker, and this is going to represent one fourth. So I'm going to break our box into four different boxes. So now I've turned our one hole into four different parts. So this is going to represent our one fourth. Uh, what I'm going to do now is take a different color marker. So I have a purple marker and I'm going to break our box into thirds. So I'm going to break our one hole into three different boxes. Uh, it's very important to have our um, two different fractions um, break up to go in different directions so that we can see them more clearly. So as you can see here, I drew um, two lines which made our one hole into thirds, so one, two, three. So what I'm gonna do now is take my orange marker, which represents one fourth, and I'm gonna shade in one fourth. So I'm gonna make sure to go in our boxes. Here they are, one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna shade in one of these four boxes. Okay, so now we have our one fourth on the board. I'm gonna do the same with one third. So we have one, two, three. Just gonna shade in one of these three. Okay. So we've actually just solved our problem right here, and I'm gonna show you how to read our diagram that we just made. So as we can see, we made 12 different boxes. So when we um, did our two lines, we made 12 boxes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we shaded in our individual boxes representing the two fractions. So here's our 1 fourth shaded in. Here's our 1 third shaded in. And what we're going to do, we're going to look at where those two overlap. So they actually overlap on one box. And that's going to tell us our answer is 1 twelfth. Okay, so one fourth times one third is going to equal one twelfth. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it with the diagram, and you're gonna have to trust me. This is the correct answer. Um, I can actually prove it to you um, when we go on and solve the same problem through arithmetic. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this, but I'm gonna save our answer. So save our one twelfth from our first demonstration where we use the diagram to solve this problem. And now let's do it with math. Um, I love multiplying by fractions because you don't need to change the tops or change the bottoms. You just multiply straight across. So one times one is going to equal one. Four times three is gonna equal 12. So there you have it. Um, does it match our diagram? Yes, it does. 12 or one twelfth and one twelfth. So those are two ways to solve fractions using, um, or, solve, um, or solve problems that have fractions that are multiplied together. Um, you can use it doing a diagram or you can do it using arithmetic. Uh, so let's move on to the next section and I'm gonna show you how to divide fractions. So let me clear my board. Okay, so for this next problem, we are going to do three fourths divided by one third. That's a three. Uh, okay, so once again, I'm gonna show you two different ways to solve this one problem. Uh, the first way is gonna be with the diagram. Um, so instead of using a box, I'm actually gonna use a piece of tape. So this uh, piece of tape is gonna represent one hole. And I'm gonna first look at our three fourths. So what I wanna do is take a marker and break our one hole into fourths. So I'm going to put orange just so we know that the orange represents our fourths. And go like that. 
So now what I did is I broke R one whole into fourths, one, two, three, four. Okay, from here, what I need to do is break R fourths into thirds. Since we are dividing fractions, we need to break our um, fourths into thirds. So this um, box represents one fourth, so let's break that into thirds. Okay, so one, two, three, and our fourth. Um, let's do the same for this one too, and the same for this one, and finally for this one also. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, so I'm very quickly going to go over this with our purple marker. Uh, once again, what I'm doing is I'm breaking our fourths into thirds. So this box right here represents one fourth, and I broke this one fourth into three boxes. So one, two, three. And if we look back at our original um, problem here, we have. Um, three-fourths divided by one-third. So I'm going to count to three-fourths. So if this line represents one-fourth, this line represents two-fourths. There we go. This line is going to represent three-fourths. Okay. So now that we counted a three-fourths, let's count all the thirds within our fourths. And that's actually going to tell us our answer. So we're going to go one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and finally nine. Okay. So here is our answer. Um, we're going to have nine uh, fourths. And I'm going to use the black one. So nine fourths. Okay. So what we did, I counted all the thirds that make up three-fourths. So three-fourths divided by one-third is going to equal nine-fourths. And once again, you're just going to have to trust me, but I can prove this using arithmetic. So um, this is how you do it with the diagram. Let me show you how to do it with arithmetic. Let me erase all that. So this is our answer from our diagram. Let me show you how to do it with math. Okay. So um, dividing by fractions are actually very interesting because we're going to have to do um, a special um, thing to our fractions. So we're going to go 3 divided by 4. And for this, we're actually going to first flip our second fraction and then change our divide to a multiply. So divide to multiply 3 over 4 times 3 over 1. Okay. So I know that might be very confusing, but essentially what I did is I turned this division sign into a multiplication sign, and I flipped our one-third to three over one. Um, and that's going to give us nine-fourths. The same is our answer with our diagram. So nine-fourths is going to be the answer for three over four divided by one-third. Um, yeah. Um, let's do one more really quickly just so we can really solidify our, uh, our flipping and multiplying. So I'm going to erase this and give us a new problem. One half divided by one sixth. Okay. So what we're going to do here, if you remember from before, we're going to flip the second part and multiply it by the first part. So I'm going to bring down one half and we're gonna change our divide into a multiply, and we're gonna flip our second fraction. So instead of 1 sixth, it's gonna be six over one. So one times six equals to six, two times one is equal to two. Um, so actually, if this fraction, we can reduce it, so six divided by two equals three. Okay, so, that's it. Um, that's how we divide fractions. And uh, before the, we went over multiplying fractions, I just wanted to thank you so much for joining me in uh, our activity today. And uh, please join us at ymca.org slash classroom for all for more classes uh, and see you again very soon.
Did you know that YMCA of San Francisco never closed? When shelter in place happened, we could no longer provide in-person programming. We quickly shifted to provide youth and family programming virtually. As early as April, we started providing on-demand activities in our YMCA of San Francisco YouTube channel. For this video, we're going to be making a geodesic dome. Today, we're going to be making a hovercraft. The science around this activity is really awesome. In addition, we have a regular schedule of activities for our youth and families to join live. We feature read-alouds, yoga, family Zumba, arts and crafts, drawing clubs, and more. So don't miss out on our virtual youth and family offerings. Visit www.ymcasf.org for more info and class schedules.